Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Outlanders. We are in my little farming area where my collection and my little villages are. And I've, I've been slowly getting these guys up to speed, getting them up to, you can see there, an emerald guy, an emerald level guy, just so I can get access to the pumpkin trade, the melon trade, and of course the sweet, sweet, well, okay, maybe not the glistening melon trade, but the... Well, the biscuit trade, we've got pumpkin pie trade, we've got all sorts of trade in these guys. I have noticed that one full chest of these is not going to go into eight different villages, so I may need to expand this going into their future. But we've got something else we need to get done today. Over the past couple of months as I've been going through the season, I've been killing heaps and heaps of mobs and I've been collecting all their heads since we've got a bit of a head add on here. Unfortunately, these ones can't be worn if we just pick these up. You pick them up, there we go, one, I can't put it onto my head. You can see it's not going into the slot. So these ones are just mostly collection items, and though you can sort of put them onto a armor stand, but it, you just need to hack it a little bit. But what I'm thinking I'm going to do today is going to make a bit of a head hole so I can display as many of these heads as possible. You can see I've still got quite a few heads in here, which I haven't laid out, a lot of um, more in here and more in here. So what I want to do is, yes, make a bit of a head hole, decorate the different areas. So I might have a farming area that has these ones and these ones and these ones. I might have a pets area where I've got the nine, the ten different kinds of, of, of cats and the three different types of fox or heads. Foxes actually is one I need to get and also one for the nether where I can put all my nether mobs and so on and so forth. So quite a lot of different areas in which I want to do the question, of course, is where am I going to put this thing? I'm really not quite sure where I want to put it because I've been... Yeah, there's quite a lot of area which I've got here. I'm planning this area over here to be my factories and production area. I'm planning this area to be my... Uh, just a township and a decoration, mostly. But I don't know where I'm going to put it. I did want it to be a bit of a touristy area, which may mean I want to put in a new portal somewhere around here and have it... A display area or I put it over here with my other township so quite a few places I'm trying to put but it's quite a quite a big project and going to be quite a quite yeah, a big 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 project and quite a, a laborious one so it's probably going to be completed over a couple of episodes uh, but I do want to get at least one part done before we move on to another part of today's episode so let me figure out where I'm going to put that first and start, start the plans and then we can come back to it and show you where we've got up to. But for the time being we've come over to the shopping district where there's been a few discussions as to what we're going to do with the area. As you can see it's pretty mossy and pretty grassy with a few spots of mycelium here and there. So the general idea at the moment is we're thinking about what we're going to do with the roads, especially. Uh, given that, if we just finish eating here, we've got a road here and not much one going over here. We've got the portal in the way, which is probably needs to be lowered back down to ground level. We've got another one over here, but there are a few shops which are sort of cut off. These two are quite hidden. This one and this one are quite prominent. But if we sneak our way past through here, we can see that my maze is actually quite hidden. So what I'm thinking is we're going to ask Rad if he can move his shop from over here to potentially opposite mine over here. I think there's enough room. And so if he's amenable to that, that would mean we've now got a whole stack of land over here in which we can do roads. But most of that's going to happen off camera, I think. We're not exactly sure what we're going to do yet. And... I, since I'm recording now, I don't think I can really go ahead and dictate everything. But I think that I think it would be good, and I think Morgan as well agrees that it would be a good idea to have a bit of a plaza around here. Just flatten this area, make it stone or blackstone or something, and do something with that as well as make this into a make the portal as well part of the plaza. So it's going to be a bit bigger around here. We do have to fit it around all the current things, so Morgan's shop here, Unicorn's shop behind, Pillman's shop over there, as well as Rad's new statue over here, which just got done. I don't, actually, I don't know what's going on here. This might be something new as well. But anyway, Rad's shop thing over here, in honor of all the deaths, both players and pets. So, especially since I've killed a lot of cats as well. So, yes, this is something that's going to be transformed over a little while, and we may pop into it every now and then. 
while I'm here, I might as well check my shops. Now, I don't think there's anything in here, because this thing hasn't sold anything in ages. Yeah, nothing in there, nothing in there. Uh, I probably should actually withdraw the fish from sale, because I think Rad's selling that as well. Crystal, there's nothing in there, there's nothing in here. So yes, this shop hasn't done anything in months, and I might need to sell it and see, and cut my losses. But over here, I think, and I see there's eight diamonds in here, and I did check earlier, there are another two in here. I left them so I could record it. So that does mean I need to get a whole lot more hoppers, and I think hoppers is definitely something that sells very, very, very well. Well, especially when people need hoppers, they need a lot of them. So I'm going to go back to my base and collect as many hoppers as I can possibly make, and then bring it back and put it back up for sale. So after restocking up my hopper supply, I think I should actually get rid of this mushroom thing. I might actually figure out if I can keep the overground mushroom because, let's see, this is here. Yeah, we'll need to do a little bit of trimming or change it up a little bit. But I think that if we can keep the mushroom there, maybe, uh, we may be able to get something good here. But for the time being, I should just, let's just get rid of this and see what we can do to make it just make it level again because yeah it's a little bit annoying to have to go up and down every time we want to go into the portal or go around or whatnot so yeah flattening this would be perfect And after that little quick tamlet, which hopefully worked, I have got ourselves a new area now here. I've just flattened the area and made it completely stone. Most of it was stone already, and uh, rebuilt the portal there. So I have gone through and tested, and it does work. So what I think I'll do is I'll leave the mushroom in here, because it is likely to be used at some point in the future for whatever project we do around here, as possibly putting the mushroom cap back on. I'm not particularly skilled at that, so I'll leave it for someone else to do. Now, there's one more thing I want to do get done before I head off to do the head cowl, and that is I've noticed that, that most of these places, especially my shops, don't have any don't have any what do you call them ender chests. There's only two ender chests, I believe, in the entire shopping district. One is here, and one is in Nutria's shop. So that is not necessarily the best thing. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to head to the end and collect up a whole lot of obsidian, collect up a whole lot of ender eyes or whatever you call them and then craft up a whole stack of crafting benches and no not crafting benches i'm going to craft up a whole stack of ender chests and place them in all the shops so that will be done nice and quick it took me a little while but i've got myself 18 different ender chests so if i just plop one at different shops so one there one over here should do quite nicely one let's put next to the pay chest and so on and so forth shouldn't take too long for this to get done. I think I should probably put one over at Cloud9 or whatever this shop is called. Uh, does it have one? No, it doesn't. Let's put one... Uh, can't put one there, put one there. One in Morgan's shop over here. Let's see. Right next to the pay chest would be good. And then one in Unicorn's shop over here would do very nicely, I think. Um... Hmm, where to put this one? Let's put it here. So yes, that should do quite nicely. And now let's head back to the base to get started on the head hall. Now I've been doing a little bit of testing in a private world or a test world and come up with a couple of designs for the head hall. So I've got this one here, which is basically just a display cabinet. I don't think I should put glass in front of it because it does obscure the heads. So if I just go like that, you've got all the heads there. And then if I put a barrel or something close by so let's say let's put a barrel here because that will fit quite nicely and then I can put all the extra heads in here and the same thing for the nether mobs here so that's the other idea the first idea the second one is to have it come out a little bit more so it'll be a bit more of a cave so kind of like that but still a display cabinet so instead of Instead of being nice and flat, it would probably be a little bit more 
concave, I think that's the right word. So something like that, this thing would still come across the bottom and that would give me a little bit more room to, or a little bit, a little bit of things to play with, but it would mean the thing I have to do is a bit bigger. So I'm thinking as well for a five wide, a five wide walkway, which should give me plenty of room to walk through and observe everything. Which, yeah, so that is the two designs I'm tossing up. I'm probably going to go with the display cabinet one, partly because it, it means less room and less building to do, have to do and less things to dig out or construct. So that is probably what I'm going to go with. So let's go back into the server and find where we're going to build this. And after a bit of looking, I've decided that I'm going to have this as my area. I've also already laid out the area, so we've got one, two, three, four slots with our little areas here for where the red bear is going to go. So if I build this up a little bit and see how we go, that should be okay. So yeah, I still need to work out exactly how I'm going to build it exactly, what I'm going to put on the floor and where I'm going to put each section. But if I start building up these areas as well, as well as the outside, that should work pretty well. A few minutes later and we've got ourselves a little bit of a start on this thing. I've started to work on the inside first and then I'm going to work on the outside. And I'm coming to the conclusion that I don't think I'm going to need five wide areas for all of them. So this is the nether area and we can see there's only a couple more of these that I need. So I can probably put them one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've still got plenty of room, so I probably should demolish this bit and move the section over a little bit more, which does may or may not mean that some of my other sections will be bigger or and or smaller, but we'll see how we go. I think doing this project has just emphasized the sheer amount of heads that are collectible in the game. You can see here I've got all but two different types of sheep head. I've got a few bits missing in the nether heads, got a couple missing in the in the axolotls and the guardian and a few others in here. I've got most of the pets except for the parrot heads. I think this is pretty much all the farmable mobs except horses and donkeys and mules, so which are over there. There's still another 10 or so of those, which doesn't fit here, although I probably should fit in one, two, three, four, five, six. For monster probably should fit it on here as well, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but then I'd have to move all these, which isn't too annoying. So yeah, I think I might put the sh heads and he the sh horses heads here and then do the rest of there. But yeah, I probably will now start focusing on the outside of this because I do want it to be looking good as well. So I'm going to come up with a design and then start work on it in the next bit. And after a little while, I've constructed this monstrosity, I suppose you could call it. It's just a simple wall with a simple couple of things going on. So over time, I'll probably improve it. But for the time being, I think I'm going to leave it there. So that will end today's episode. So get into first person or third person. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you then. Goodbye.